The problem are the gatekeepers. And the gatekeepers are the family. Folks, we're going to war. I will not stand here silently anymore. I will not participate in any more fucking cover-ups. If you have the truth, now is the time. If you don't, shut the fuck up. Shiloh, if you want to take control of this situation, call me. I was going to declare war against you tonight, and you know, you, you, you might have an ego, and you might say, you know what, fuck this. Ben, ben Quasi declared war? That's good enough as declaring war. Fine, Shiloh. Fine. I've asked to meet with you. I've asked to talk with you. I've asked to explain this all to you. I've asked for clarification on what could happen on my Discord with the information of the olive jar that your grandfather fucking wrote. And the answer was nothing. I asked for legal advice. If the olive jar is posted on the Discord, what will you do? And you said nothing. The Discord, from this point on, let it be known, will be the disseminator of information. We will post everything. I don't care if you want to sue me. It's being posted. You can't stop it. Unless you show me that you're here for the community, that you're here to give us answers, that you're here to bring the epicness that is supposedly to come. I'm here for it, man. I'm here for it. Shiloh, you are our only hope. Please stop fucking around. What are we waiting for? You're not waiting for Brandon. You're not waiting for Netflix. You're not waiting for Jens. You're not waiting for any reason that I've ever fucking come across. Why are you waiting? What are we hiding? I'm done with it. I don't care if I pissed off Brandon today. I don't care if I breached confidentiality with Brandon today. I don't care. I'm sick of it. We're all sick of fucking waiting. I was going to meet you, Shiloh. I wasn't going to say this, but I'm going to fucking say it anyway. Shiloh, you know damn well I was trying to meet you this weekend on the 17th. You know damn well I was. And you know damn well you didn't give me a response on whether or not you were available. Sorry, man, I'm just saying it, because it's important. I have a grandfather myself, Shiloh. My grandfather's in Grand Junction, Colorado. He is now in an old folks home with Alzheimer's and dementia. He supposedly only has weeks to live. I'm gonna go visit him in about two days. I was supposed to visit him today. And I said no to my father a week ago, thinking I was gonna have an opportunity to meet you, to clear this up for the thousands of fucking people who are still hanging by a thread that your grandfather created. We're selfish? We're greedy? No, sir. No, sir. You are wrong. You are wrong. How dare you? Good night.